Hey, what's going on, YouTube? This EXO coming at you here just a little bit before Christmas. Feeling damn good, and we've got something really cool to show you guys in spirit of giving some gifts away. And stay tuned to the end of this video as we give away one of the best Bluetooth speakers we have ever come across. Of course, there's some give and take here, but that's what this video is all about. I'm gonna be giving you guys a quick little overview slash review of the Soundbox XL. This is another unit from DOS Audio, our fourth little Quattro series here on the EXO channels. Now, there's some good and there's some bad, obviously, with a product like this, there's some give and take, but I figured I'd start out with some of the things that I really, really love about it. I've been looking for something that has, you know, a lot of drivers packed into a, you know, a nice big space like this and we have got five in here two active mid drivers an active subwoofer and two passive drivers here for a little bit more added bass and oomph maybe a little bit too much because when i first noticed uh you know the the unit here it was having a little bit of a vibration now that's not too too bad because you know we can take this off right here and pull it right off and that's what i did with my spare unit and it ended up coming to life so that's one thing to take into consideration here. The housing around the unit has a lot of vibration due to the fact that it has so many speakers crammed in it and 12 watts going just for the bass and obviously 10 watts respectively on each channel. So we're working with about 30 two watts of power and I've gotten a good amount of listening to it on battery life but there's one thing that I noticed when I first got it and I actually had to open another one to see if it was a fluke and lo and behold it was so this is something to take into consideration as well it didn't charge when I first got it I, I couldn't get it to keep a charge and it didn't let me know when the battery was draining so all of a sudden it would just turn off and I was like what the heck what's going on another thing I really like about it is how tactile the buttons are and they're raised and depressed depending on what you want to do so if you're in the dark you can tell which buttons which it runs on 7.4 volts on a 2200 milliamp battery overall uh, the sound is is great. It's probably one of my favorite Bluetooth speakers to date. But let me just explain a little bit of something that goes on once you crank the volume all the way up. It has amazing, full, rich sounding bass at three quarters volume with an even matched uh, sound of mids and highs. But the second you step up the volume to 75, 80, 95, 100%, it just lacks the bass. It gets a little bit muddy. And, and comparatively on the lower volumes, it seems like a completely different unit because it's just, oh wow, it's, it, it surprises you at first. So I usually keep the volume around uh, like 70%, around 70%. I had this thing sitting on the counter downstairs when I first was doing dishes and the silverware, the, the plates, the bowls were flexing. The, the, my whole countertop, the, the glassware was going crazy. Wherever you put it, it's gonna be vibrating all around so you have to make sure it's really down there really snug because the rubber pads on the bottom of the speaker don't hold it down and if it's at all touching anything like I had it accidentally touching uh, a surface of my wooden desk and you could hear it vibrating so much so make sure it's separated from everything else and it's and it's a damn good speaker so without uh, any further ado let's go downstairs uh, do a quick little sound test and then come back up for a little sign out here and figure out how you guys can get your hands on one of these DOS Soundbox XLs free here, thanks to you guys' continued support on our YouTube channels. All right, let's go downstairs and get this thing pumping.
right, that was playing something that had some well-rounded mids and highs and a little bit of bass. Now let's play something a little bit more bass heavy and see if we can let you guys hear this housing thing and then we'll go ahead and take that off and see how the speakers look when everything's moving. I read it in the Cyclops, might throw a bitch ass nigga out of Skybox. Three strikes on my high tops, you ain't got no fucking hearing in your iPod. Any place, any time, anywhere, I'ma get it, that my word, boy, you know I stay true to that my word. But as you can see, the whole speaker moves, you know, back and forth, regardless of, you know, those little rubber things on the bottom. But let's go ahead and take the grill off see the speakers moving so we can get away from that slight little vibration. Now I don't know if you can hear it on camera but in person it's very slight and you actually have to get a little bit closer to hear it but it's it's annoying enough to want to get away from it. That is some interesting looking passive equipment right there. Look at that little extra bubble on the side. I don't know if that helps with linearity and I don't know why it would need it because there's no coil down there. <laughs> Out, I put my phone down. Yeah. Gotta get it, cause they bluffing out here. Turning nothing into something out here, cause our trap is booming, beaming, bunking out here. I think I got my mojo back. Hoes screaming like Tupac back. Got the roof cocked back, letting my hair blow. The day you see me, that'll be a miracle. I'm sent back and I'm counting money. Bustin' plays and I'm running laps. 40 grand in a duffel bag. Keep blood niggas on the sim set. Crip niggas right there on Cleveland Neighborhood don't disrespect me Six you be denied That's the only time you be less than a dime Girl, it's your time, time to stretch, time to wind I wanna see you wind I wanna put it on your mind when I see you grind I can I not get this baller and flip out this baller Because of your niggas in the start I can I not make this music for dealers and killers and niggas who watch that beat up Hooligan, drop top, boy, shot, shooter Money on my mind, bitch, I'm under about the moolah Motherfucker Beast, bitch, call me King Cooper. I mean, I pull off in the candy paint, doing up a damn thing like my doo doo don't stain. I'm gone, blowing up in a cloud of smoke. Man, for a little guy, she's freaking getting it. Let's do a couple little tones and go, I don't know, like. 30, 40, 50 hertz, and just see how she moves incrementally. And then we'll go upstairs and try to get this giveaway going for you guys. Actually, you know what? We're gonna go ahead and start at 20 hertz because this thing has no cutoff at all. Check this out, full blast. <laughs> she is moving, that's 20 hertz on a Bluetooth speaker. That is ridiculous. Let's go to uh, 25. Definitely moving a little bit more. 30. Yeah, look at that shit. <laughs> and now let's go to 40. Oh God, everything's moving. The camera's moving. See what I mean by the whole tabletop starts going nuts. Look at that. It's flexing all over the place. Oh my God. <laughs> and that's hitting the back of the wall now. Let's do our uh, 45. <laughs> Get that off the wall there. She's gonna vibrate vibe right back though. Look at that, that's what I mean. It's hard to keep this thing in one spot. <laughs> All right, let's do 50. There's 50 Hertz. Staying a little bit more still, but still vibrating all over the place. There she goes. It's like levitating. Let's do 55 hertz. There's good old 55. Everything's still moving good. Now 60 hertz. I think we're about reaching its almost its peak probably. Let's just jump up to 70. Still going strong, actually. I, th I think the volume kicked up a level there. Now let's go to 80. I think that'll be a, a 
about it. Yeah, there we go. It's starting to get a little quieter now. Pretty responsive, but like we said, you gotta make sure that you keep this thing mounted tight because she's gonna go for a ride depending on, well, on what type of music you listen to. I like a lot of that bass heavy rap music, so like, likewise, this thing's always, I look over in the corner of the room and the thing is always dancing like crazy. Seemingly because they didn't even add filters to it. It has a DSP on the inside, but she drops down there to 40 plus hertz and still has decent output with oh, what seems to be full excursion. Oops, got a text message. But uh, yeah, th those speakers, I'm really, I'm really impressed with how they're taking all this. So if you guys want to participate, in this giveaway, it's gonna be simple as pie. I'm not gonna have you jumping through hoops. All you gotta do is follow our social media pages at DOS Audio and EXO Contralto. I'll be including all those links in the description, and I hope you guys have a great and Merry Christmas, and a huge uh, thank you from both me and DOS Audio for hanging out on the EXO channels, participating in something cool this year. Just trying to give back to you guys as much as I feel that you give me. Just reading your comments, boosts my confidence all the time as well as drains my confidence from some of those guys who like to hate on me but that's okay that's what life is all about and i and i, I hope you guys continue for a brand new season of exo in 2018 holy crap 10 years of making videos almost crazy it's, i can't even but whatever all right this is exo signing out i hope you guys enjoyed the video just a quick little review here just make sure you check out the links in the description to enter the giveaway all right i'll talk to you in the next video Bye. <laughs>